Team what? Seat rules. Uh, traffic in a multi-story car park. No! Loser! Loser! <laughs> We would sir like a taxi to the curb. <laughs> because I'm such a good friend, I'm also going to give myself a handicap. Because well, I'm your free. height. <laughs> I see him. He's in front. Oh no. Come on. That goes red and he's behind me. Yes. Please say he's behind me. <sighs> I'm going to take a few moments because if Chris says the wrong thing, I, I might actually swing for him. Hello guys, welcome back to Car Obsession and welcome to another twin test. Once again, I'm joined by Chris from Pocket Rocket. Hello everybody, we're and back. And we are joined by the Say It's Me Electric and the Fiat 500 Hybrid. And this video is all about testing which is the best electrified city car. Hold on a minute, mate. You forgot to send Fiat UK an email to get this in electric because there is an electric version of this. What's going on, mate? Yes, you can get a Fiat 500 electric and I was meant to, no, 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 I wasn't meant to contact Fiat UK because <laughs> there's method behind my madness once again. Because let's say you're looking for a city car, but you're not quite ready to go fully electric, then perhaps the hybrid is your answer because it is electrified. Yeah, and in my case, I'll never be ready to drive an electric car, I don't think. No, no, but this is important consumer advice. Yes. Mostly. So which <laughs> is better? the Mi Electric or the 500 Hybrid? Well, let's find out. As you are the guest, you can decide heads or tails. I will go for tails, okay? Yeah! <laughs> but what does it mean? You just said heads or tails. Yeah, Do what? It, it Do mean, what? It means you get to pick. Ah, oh, see, yeah. I see, there we go. Well, I'm picking the seat at me. <laughs> All right, we'll have to swap places then. Yeah. So then, challenge one, what is it? <laughs> Enlighten us. It is practicality. Oh crap. And seeing as we are by the me, and I'm representing Team Seat, we're gonna put it to the test. Now, I'm impressed with this car. Um, it looks crazily small. It's so small, I can put it in my is. pocket. But how um, Seat or Volkswagen Group have packaged this car is sublime, I love it. And for practicality, we're gonna use my good friend here, Aaron, AKA the Green Giant, yep. um, to see what it's like for him in the back of this thing. Right, okay. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> right, so this car is a five door, unlike the 500. And the driver's seat has been set for my height. I'm six foot two. So needless to say, I'm quite slanky. So let me see how we get on. <laughs> oh. Okay, so knee room is yeah, cramped, but this is a city car, so that isn't a complaint, more of an observation. Legroom is, yeah, about the same. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, mate. We can just chop your legs off and we can sort that out. Oh, thanks, that's very considerate <laughs> of you. But come on, mate, look at the On the plus room. side, though, look at the headroom. So, pretty oh, dark and dingy in here. It is, yeah, the lighting isn't great, but that, yeah, is, that, that. that is properly impressive. This now, is where I begin to love this car. Now, for starters, because it's going to become torture. It is a three door, so you do have the, the faff of uh, clambering into the back. Pull up the lever. Oh, mate, like stop so. preventing the inevitable. Get look, your ass in there. Look at that, look. Acres <laughs> of space. You could park a bus in there. There we are. Just. And then pop the seat back right You can so. see Aaron's done this before. That was, a, that was a nice entry into the car, mate. And then. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah. It's. Just, just look how comfortable I am. Where it's are just, you, mate? I can't see you. It's just, oh, there you are. Yeah, it, it's, um, yeah, <laughs> I've got loads of, Chris, you, you can't see it from where, where you are, but believe me, I've got loads of knee room. It's just, uh, yeah, it's, um, I'm, I may as well be in a Rolls Royce. Wow, the headroom is just- I can't um, even see you, because it's even darker in here. It's just, the headroom is, um, <laughs> it's quite something. <sighs> um, ah, but, haha. You may win that battle, but the war is not won. What about the boots? So, oh, that was dignified. Nothing to see here. So my boots, from memory, I may need to correct myself with a subtitle, is 195 litres. Wow. Vast is the word you use. Wow. No, no, to, to Chris's credit, this has got 251 litres, if, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the boot floor is adjustable, which is very good. So, and, much... a, and a cool fact with this is that the Seat Me, even though this is now only electric, 
It hasn't lost any practicality with the boot size, especially. It is exactly the same size. Team what? Seat rules. One, one nil, one nil. Get on to the next one. <laughs> So, challenge two is all about maneuverability. City cars are small and designed for the city, hence the name city car. Therefore, this is a test of how good these cars are in tight spaces. To my right hand side, we have a multi-story car park. So the idea is this, who can ever get to the top and to the bottom the quickest wins. However, it is a public car park, so we can't drive like idiots. Oh. <laughs> On your mark. Three, two, one, go. Right, I have a secret weapon. To my left hand side, I have a button with a steering wheel on it. Hit it and I get city steering, which means it's all nice and light. And this is probably unfair actually, because Aaron probably knows that car park, whereas I don't. So he's gonna have a big advantage. So I need to make up time. I definitely do. No! No! First ramp and I've hit traffic. Oh, uh, traffic in a multi-story car park. No! A few minutes later. At this point, this could only really get any worse if I hit something. Right, okay. Come on, mate, you're taking an age. Oh, Chris is piping up on the radio. But it's okay, because look. Oh, M3, nice. Is that Polo coming down? Yes, it is. Ah, no. Stay where you are, woman. Almost coming up to two minutes. Jesus, I could have run up there faster than this. I'm pretty sure the whole population of Worthing is currently <laughs> navigating this car park. <laughs> I thought so. It was either that or you're lost. Is this the top level? No, it was one more to go. Oh, look at that. I can see the sea. What a beautiful day on the south coast of England. All right, and that is the top. I've climbed Mount Worthing. Oh, Kia Stinger, is that the uh, V6? I think it is. Right, now, this is where I get time back because people have to give way to me, whether they like it or not. Oh. Oh, I'm not even going that fast, I'm getting tire squeal. 500 is getting a bit frisky. I'm gonna get dizzy doing this. How many more levels have I got to go? It's got more levels than Candy Crush. Oh, two STs. Oh, we've got Performance Blue and um, the um, uh, Jesus, Silver Fox. Mate, what are you doing? Sightseeing? I may as well be. <laughs> oh. oh, I think this segment's going to be uh, a video in it, on its own. Done, I'm out, I'm out. My dignity <laughs> left as, as, as soon as I got into the car park. <laughs> right, so guys can't see on camera, but I can see Aaron's face from here. So are you, are you ready? No. <laughs> you did it in six minutes and 20.89 seconds. <laughs> This looks like a maze already. Ground level. He hasn't even told me how many levels there are. But what I can tell you is that I'm stuck in traffic already. Oh my God. Oh, the heart's pounding. What is going on? All right, level two now. Come on, CIB for your ruining team, Sayats. Uh, come on. Oh. And I'm proper serious, guys, because I turned off the AC. And uh, that's very important to have the AC off. You get more performance and more power. All right, where is the exit? Oh, I can go up again. Oh, I've got to go up again. I can't cheat. I can't cheat, Chris. Don't cheat. Oh, this is an amazingly big car park. What a view. Here we are at level 10. Now to make our descent down. Let's go. 
tell you what, I'm impressed with this car. This car is brilliant. Exit, exit, exit. Ooh. Chris, the whole idea of this is you're meant to go to the top and then come down, not go to the top, get out, get some lunch. Stop, stop, stop. So, Mr. Car Obsession, have I won? Well done, you did it in seven minutes and one second. No way. You're lying. You're lying. Do you want to come over here and, and look, at the, look at my phone? Oh my God. It was definitely that Ibiza. You paid that Ibiza. You definitely paid that Ibiza driver. What did I actually do? Come on. What's my time? <laughs> Too long, that was what it was. Uh, what was my time? It was six minutes, 20.89. Chris Antonio from Pocket Rocket Spain. You did it in four minutes, yeah! 27.15. Yeah, boy! Loser! Loser! <laughs> what is the next challenge, uh, Mr. Antonio? It is parking. Now, that could go either way. <laughs> and I know as much as you do, between the pair of us, we're, we're both pretty shoddy at parallel parking, so this should be anyone's guess. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go! I hate parallel parking with the Patreon. Not bad, not bad. Go on. 20.95. What can I say? City steering, <laughs> light as a feather. Your turn. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh. No, I've oh, ruined oh, no. it. Oh, oh, he's choked. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, no, oh, oh, no, oh, no. The oh, pressure. Oh, done. Oh, no. How did, what, what did I get? 20.9 something. 19.14. How, <laughs> how, how did you win? Oh, I messed that up as well. You saw how bad that was. Mate, that was, that was almost a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the champion lives again. What? Hang on, no. Hang on, adjudicator. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that's not fair. Oh, mate, what? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't do it that with you. I could have went over and looked at yours. We would serve like a taxi <laughs> to the curb. <laughs> no, you cannot take that away from me. You should have You should have set the rules. Car obsession rules should have said. Adjudicator should have checked after the car was parked. But you, you had the ch chance to park, but you, you had the chance to uh, to check. But you didn't look, you're not, you're not even in the lines. I was in the lines. Look. You guys at home can, de can decide who won that. Chris won that on time, but I think that's a moral win for me. No, I don't think it is, mate. Stop trying to win. You're just, you're just losing every time. You're not in the lines. You're technically part... You've abandoned that vehicle. <laughs> right, so on to challenge four. Yes. And time for me to try and claim some I don't know why back. we're bothering, mate. I might as well go home. I'm winning. Well, you know, the day is young. The day is young. So city cars are all about street cred. They yes. have to be stylish. And for me, the 500 exudes style. It does indeed. So, so yeah, you may as well go home because I've got this one all locked up. Yeah. So we're going to ask 10 people, 10 of the lovely Worthing public, which car is more stylish, the Mi Electric or the 500 Hybrid? So just a waiting game now, just to see who passes by. Yeah, I definitely haven't got much uh, faith in this one. Definitely haven't. I don't know why. I'm not even going to justify that being a good-looking car because personally, I don't think it is. But come on, 500. <laughs> good afternoon. Quick question: Which car do you think is more stylish, the blue one or the silver one? Blue one. One nil. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a nice afternoon. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> right. I draw first blood. <laughs> good afternoon. Quick question: Which car do you think is more stylish? Oh, 2-0, 2-0. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. Losing badly now. Right, so that's <laughs> 2 0 to me. Can oh. I make it 3 0? <laughs> Finally, the 500 is. Come on, guys, do, you can get involved something. if you want. What do you think's better? Which be a 500 or to see at me? So we've got, so that's one point, so that's 3-1 then. No, <laughs> yeah. hang on, no. Yeah, 3-1. Yeah, Thank three you, one. my man. You Thank picked you right. Much. You picked right, my man. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. That's a snazzy shirt. <laughs> you, you clearly know a thing or two about style. Which <laughs> car do you think is the most stylish? The one on the left-hand side or the one on the right-hand side? No. Oh. There we go. 4-1. Obviously, He's got a good taste in shirts, but not in cars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, my much, man. Sir. Take care. So what's that? What's that? Five, no. 4-0. Four 4-1. Four, four, one. Four, one, yeah. four, I'm sure you'll pick it up in here. You'll make it big and bold that yep. you're winning. it would be a nice little graphic. <laughs> so hang on, if I get the next point, that's it really. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much game over. I'm, game I'm over. happy to concede that because I came in here knowing that I wasn't going to make it in this challenge. Yeah. Come on, 500. I already know what they're going to say. Good afternoon, ladies. Hello. Really quick question, which car do you think is more stylish? The blue one or the silver one? The blue one. Oh, there we go. Game, there go. set and match, uh, Mr. Like Antonio. <laughs> there we go. So finally, the Fiat 500 hybrid has come into its own. It's about time. So then, it is time for challenge five, the final one, and hopefully a time where I can claw some points back. So Chris, what are we doing? So the final challenge is a race. A race Ooh. from here, a cricket ground. We are, we are, we are at the, the first central yeah, county ground. It shows you how much we are cricket fans here. Yes. To the Brighton Marina. And uh, even though if this man wins, it doesn't matter because I still win over, overall. Yeah, it'd be three, two. Yeah, exactly. So um, I've decided to gamble, gamble it all. So it's going to be winner takes all. Oh, and because I'm such a good friend, I'm also going to give myself a handicap because well, I'm height. <laughs> you, you've, that, you know, no, you've, don't oh. be vertically challengedist. All the people will come after you. <laughs> They'll have to catch me first. So yeah, um, I'm going to give myself a handicap of ten seconds each. So I'm three one up. So that means Mr. Aaron here will be getting thirty seconds. Half head a minute. Start. Yes, which he's going to need. But for me personally, I'm going to say now I don't have much confidence because. I have no sense of direction <laughs> and I haven't been to Brighton in around 10, 15 years. So um, yeah, here, come, here comes the, the racing driver excuses yeah. already. But um, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. I don't know why you're oh, rushing. Oh no, yeah, why am I going? I've got, I've got to sit here for 30 seconds and watch you drive off. Come on, today we're Goodbye, be good. Goodbye, Chris. <sighs> right, 30 seconds. Destination. No, that's to get here. Shut up, navigation. I was going to turn you off. So I'm not going to use you. Right. So I can go down the seafront, but I might get stuck in traffic. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit, though. Okay, so let me tell you a bit more about the Fiat 500, Fiat 500 Hybrid. It's powered by a one litre naturally aspirated three cylinder petrol engine which has 70 horsepower and 90 newton meters of torque. Interestingly, that power is fed to the front wheels, which is, isn't so interesting, but it's got a six speed manual, which I'm surprised by for a power with, uh, for an engine with so little power. In fact, let's go all the way down to the seafront. Gonna risk it for a biscuit. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, let's go. Woo. Now, of course, there's, uh, there's a good chance, many of you, let me do the window up actually, otherwise I'm gonna get road noise. There's a good chance many of you aren't interested in regard to the performance, but in case you are, this will hit 62 miles per hour in a rather yawn-inducing 13.8 seconds, and the top speed is a little over 100 miles, I think it's 104. What you are more concerned about is, of course, how economical this car is. This is after all a hybrid, albeit a mild hybrid. Oh, you know what? I think it might, might have struck gold here. The seafront so far is not as busy as I was expecting. So on a combined run, Fiat states that you can get up to 53.3 mpg, 
and in regard to CO2 emissions, this emits uh, 119 grams per kilometre. That means for the first year of BED, you'll be required to pay, no, traffic lights. You'll be required to pay uh, 180 pounds. Oh no, come on, come on. People are going way too slowly. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna follow Aaron because that would just be cheating. So I'm gonna go through this lovely part of Brighton. I'll tell you what, I haven't been to Brighton in ages and none of it is familiar to me. And uh, that's what scares me. I'm truly shaking in my pants. I really am because I don't know where I'm going. So I can't do a right turn there. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh, I can go down there. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I can go there. Jeez, it's so confusing. Now, not only is a race a good barometer of any vehicle, not that I'm, not that I'm gonna be speeding, but although, let's be fair, it's gonna be difficult to speed on a car that's got just a 70 horsepower, but this is the perfect opportunity to see how this car behaves in a city environment. This is, after all, a city car. Now, there are a few quirks about this that I don't like. The seating position, for example, it feels like I'm in an armchair as opposed to an actual car seat. Um, yeah, it feels like I'm on the car as opposed to in the car. Of course, my height doesn't help that. But yeah, I'm, this isn't the most comfortable. The steering wheel only adjusts for rake and not reach. So the steering wheel is quite close to my thighs. Yes, I could pop my seat back a bit, but I still wouldn't be overly comfortable. Oh, if Chris has gone the other way, he may have won. Crap. Go, go, go. Good thing about this is it's got so much torque. I love it. So fast. So method behind my madness is I'm gonna try and cut in front of Aaron and hopefully that works. I assume this is the way I can go. Oh, I guarantee he's in front of me. I'm gonna just cut in front. Oh. Right, so now along the Brighton seafront. Very busy. Now, I don't know, don't know this area to the best of my ability, but I do know it better than Chris. So if I, if I do lose this, I will be a bit of a melon. Ah, oh, Chris is right behind me. I see him. He's in front. Oh no. He's still in front. <laughs> He's there. He's there. He doesn't even notice I'm there. Oh my God, this is tense. Right. Ah ha ha. Good thing about the city car, you can just nip into traffic. Oh. And now we're just sat in just traffic. I've got Chris right behind me. Oh. I wonder what's happening in that cabin. I wonder what's happening. Is he shaking? He looks quite smug. I don't like that. Now, the me, the me electric has got uh, 212 newton meters of torque. Therefore, if he wants to exploit a gap in traffic, he's got a much better capability of doing so than I have. I've only got 90 newton meters. He is, of course, in an electric car, so the torque is instantaneous. So he's got more than double the amount of torque but, ah, but he can use his more readily. It, I had a 30 second hot, a head start. How is this happening? But it's all right, I'm in my little Fiat 500. A car that was built for the city and it's all good. No, he's just passed me. He's just passed me because the people in front of me are absolutely dithering. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! I'm in front! Guys, I'm in front! I'm in front! 
I'm winning. I'm actually winning. Oh, could you imagine if I win this, guys? Could you actually imagine? Go! Go, 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 go! No messing around here. We're in a race. We're in a race, woman. Ah, oh, man. I should, have, I should have gone further north and cut across. My only hope is that he doesn't know where he's going once he gets there, which would be a blessing. Oh my God, just look, look at it up there. It's all stacked up. I need a good head start. I need, I need to get as much gap as, dip, as I possibly can. As I possibly can. And I think I've done it. And I know people are going to get upset with me. Old man, you're not going to win. I'm going to win. I'm sorry. But don't try it. So now I've comfortably got a good advantage over Aaron now. Unless he's gone a different way. Do those roads lead anywhere? You know, I've got nothing to lose. I've got nothing to lose. Oh, sorry. Bit of tire squeal there. Don't mind me. Oh, I tell you what, if I could rip my heart out of my chest to show you how much my heart is beating, I would do it because it's definitely, um, definitely beating fast right now. Woo. I think I've just got past him. My genius knows no bounds. I think I'm back in the game. And anyhow he beats me now, I will be gobsmacked and I will definitely give him a pat on the back and a big hug because he definitely deserves to win it if he's done that. If he's managed to create some madness and beat me, I will be genuinely shocked. I've got to wait for this focus. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So that's, that's grid locked. It's not moving. Although, right, Chris was behind, Chris was near that Clio. I reckon I'm going to come out. This may have been for nothing. Come on, hurry up, cab driver! Hurry up! Push out! Push out! I literally have no idea if I'm in front in front or not. So thank you to the nice person. Part of me feels like I'm going the wrong way. When you don't know where you're going, it feels like you're going the wrong way. Oh. And because I got such a head start of him, come on, move, please move. This is proper tense. The honor of the Fiat 500 hybrid is on the line. Come on, that goes red and he's behind me. Yes! Please say he's behind me. If he is, that has just bought me some time. That Volvo has sodded off as well. If he's in front of me, surely I'd see him by now. The road has opened up, I've got a better view, and I simply can't see him. I have to say, this thing has got no guts whatsoever. Right, that motorcyclist is coming in hot. Okay, so it's opened up, which is, God, that motorbike's loud. It's opened up, which is good news and bad news. Good news, because I can pick up a bit more speed. Bad news, because it allows Chris to catch up. Oh, there's a sign. Brighton Marina Village. Oh my God, guys, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And it's 50 now. So I can go 50. And there's a sign that says Brighton Marina. Now I need to find this multi-storey car park. All right, where am I going, where am I going? All right, both lanes to Marina. Okay. Oh my God, guys, I'm gonna win this. I thought I saw him, but no, it's still in a bath. No, come on. Turn, green, go green. 
Now, taking the race out of the equation, just talking about how the 500 is to drive, I go back into two lanes again. The gear changes are all right, it's nothing amazing. There have been a few times um, at slow moving, moving speeds where I've gone to go into first and found third inadvertently. The ride, again, is so-so. It's got a short wheelbase, therefore, it's always more likely to be a bit more jiggly. The ride is okay. It's not offensive or really bad. The seat is pretty comfortable. I just want to be sat lower. That's my only complaint. I've just had an alarming thought. I just, have I overshot the marina? That's really annoying. That's properly annoying. The thing is, from this direction, I couldn't see how to get into the marina. If he hasn't won, then I'd be very surprised. And now I've hit a red light. Oh God, guys, are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? Car park, right. Do, 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 do. Middle lane. What does that mean? Oh no, guys. Oh God, yes. But is this the car park? It's got to be the car park. This has got to be the car park. Oh my God, this is the car park. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I've won. I've won. I've got a one. Right. Oh. Get the old city steering on the go. Right. If Chris has one, he'll want to be super smug and he'll be parked right at the end where I can't see him. Okay, right. So far, no maze. Oh, that's not. No, I'm not on the top floor. That's the top floor. Can I go up there? I've got to have one. I'm gonna stop here. And wait. Oh my God, I thought that was in. It doesn't matter, because I've won. Oh. Oh. I've got, I've done it. I'm yet to see him. I don't know whether that's good news or bad news. One thing I do know is that I'm thirsty, very thirsty. Too thirsty to come up with a half decent analogy or metaphor. It has to be the car park. It's got to be. It's got to be. And I don't know if I'm in shot right now because I don't really use a GoPro. Oh my God, that one won. It's a lovely view here, by the way. This is definitely a marina, so I've got to be in the right place. And I know I can't call him because he's going to be in flight mode like me. Loser! Loser! Wait! <laughs> ah, oh, I gave him every chance. I gave him a handicap. I let him go first, and he still lost. He has still lost. I'm genuinely vexed. I'm so pissed off, not because I've lost. It's the manner in, w in which I've lost. And even though I gambled everything, guys, you should gamble responsibly. You really should gamble responsibly. But hey, I'm going to have a chat with him when he decides to uh, stop crying and come back up. <laughs> oh, champion! I'm a champion! I'm going to take a few moments because if Chris says the wrong thing, I, I might actually swing for him. No, not because of Chris, just because I'm just... Oh, he's, he's such a... Ah! Nice of you to join me, mate. It's not like I've been waiting for about 10 minutes. Did you generally not see me come down there? No. You were coming down that hill and I thought, oh, you're going to come in. You're obviously going to know that that's the entrance into the high, multi story. I've got a confession. What's that? I overshot. What do you mean? I went past it. 
<laughs> I was so busy giving important consumer advice oh, about the yeah. vehicle. Excuses. You know, the viewer comes first. Oh. So I thought, I've, I've, I need to make sure that I'm giving them a good, accurate driving experience. So guys, the, the, the information. I told you the and, excuses and, would come out. And you know, just, yeah, it, because because my my frankly my public service it, that's what it is. <laughs> it um, caused me to uh, to overshoot by about a mile or so. See, such a sore loser. I'll give him a handicap, and he gets a head start. Look, mate, the, the only handicap I have is working with you. <laughs> that, that's that's the only handicap oh. I have. I gambled. Um, I gambled everything, and I still come out on top. Oh, tastes as good as that that view. That view's awesome. I generally, I, the whole way, my heart was beating out of my chest. And I said to the ladies and gentlemen, if I could generally rip my heart out of my chest and show you, show you what it was like, it was uh, pretty tense. At this, at this point, I'm half tempted to actually reenact that and see, see what happens. <laughs> um, oh. Right, why don't you park up sensibly and then we'll get a bite to eat and a drink. So I'm effing parched. Yeah, is that, is that another excuse? Well, there's worse places to end the video, isn't there? Yeah, definitely, mate. Very nice view. Very nice. Very nice, so yes. We're now uh, recharged. Yes, fed and watered. Thanks to old Ronald McDonald. Yep. And uh, it's time now to uh, give our conclusion, our summary to today's exciting, fun-packed day. It's yes. been awesome. It has been, it has been pretty good. Who knew you could have such good fun in city cars? Yeah. Um, now, thanks to my unusually rubbish sense of direction, uh, the Mi Electric has won overall. Yeah, and to be absolutely honest, domination. I, th I think that would. I think that is a fair result compared to the 500 hybrid. The Mi Electric, in my opinion, is it's better to drive. Yeah, to it's me, nicer to be in. To me, it's almost like fear of trying to keep an old relic alive, putting that mild hybrid in because you don't notice any difference with it when you're on the road. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with it. Well, no, fairly disappointed is the yeah. best way for me to put it. So. If you're looking for a city car that is sustainable and has electrification, then out of the uh, Fiat 500 Hybrid and the Seat Me Electric, then I think definitely, the, the, yeah, Seat definitely the, the Seat Me Electric yeah. has to be on your shopping list. I do hope you have enjoyed that video. I found it useful. Don't forget to check out the Pocket Rockets YouTube channel. Yes, do uh, indeed. Thank the you. link will be in the... Um, in the comment section in the, in the video description um, but yes apart from that time for us to end if you have enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you are subscribed don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time i make a video but until the next time guys be sure to keep up the car obsession, obsession.